put your paper back ribs. We're going to rub the uh, back ribs um, with a sugar-free rub. We're going to smoke it with some applewood and some Jack Daniels. And when we get the color and the flop, then we wrap it with some sauce, some sugar-free sauce and some butcher paper. And it makes it super tender, guaranteed to make the best ribs that you can make. So I'm going to be cooking on a Kamado Joe too today. But if you've got a big green egg or, or if you want to cook on your gas grill, you can do that. Um, I started my Kamado Joe with a shoot of B&B &B lump and I used a torch to get it going and then I buried some apple in the bottom and then I put a smoke tube in. You can buy these smoke tubes at Lowe's or Home Depot and um, I put some Jack Daniels chips in there. If you can find these Jack Daniels chips, they're extremely good with the, with the ribs. And if you're using a gas grill, what you can do is put the heat on this side, heat on this side, and then put your smoke tube off to the side and do it that way. If you're going to do it in the oven, you can. Um, you just won't have any smoke, but you put some smoke in the sauce. I'll put a link for um, my sugar-free rub and my sauce in the comments below. And you can add a little bit of liquid smoke into the uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce. We taught classes 20 years ago and um, we had 10 big green eggs set up with five students on each, so 50, uh, to a sold out group. And um, we taught them how to make what we're doing today. It's a super tender back rib. Back in the day, you know, big green egg was the, the rage and, um, and back ribs. No one wanted side ribs and St. Louis style, but everybody wanted back ribs. So that's what I'm doing today. And um, they're going to be just about fall off the bone. So what I've done first of all is you want to flip it over and you want to take a small piece of paper towel like this and pull the membrane off. And just a small piece and you can underneath and you can just pull it off. Nobody wants to eat that. So there's the, the membranes off. Now we'll mix up this rub. And we've got some some ground mustard, some seasoning salt some cumin, chili powder, paprika, fresh cracked pepper, onion salt, garlic powder, onion powder. This is Swerve Brown. So we're just going to add that in. Sugar free. And I'm just going to mix this up really well. There, that's nicely mixed. This is coming up to temperature. So to, so to start my Kamado Joe 2, I had about an inch on the bottom and I had started out at about the um, uh, first notch there. And you want to sneak up on your ceramics. You don't want to go too hot when you put a shoot in or you'll end up cracking something. And um, your heat deflectors, you can easily crack them. So you want to bring your temperature up really slowly. So it takes about half an hour for me to, to bring that up and I put a water tray in on top of the uh, heat deflectors. It's just something that I've always done and something that I teach because I don't want ribs or brisket or butts to drip right onto that because it, it uh, can add a nasty taste to the, to the meat. So we're going to take this rub. This is, you can probably get about three racks out of this recipe. Put it on liberally. And I'm just going to just press it in like that. I'm not contaminating because I'm not going to use all of that. Just press it all in. I don't put mustard and stuff. I'm just going to show you the very basic um, way to cook ribs, how we taught in the class. And uh, I know that um, some of the guys that took the course are still going strong on block parties. And I get emails all the time saying, that they're the king of the block and, and we'll flip it over and do the other side. Now I've sold off all my all my big green eggs and replaced everything with the Kamado Joe's. The one at the cottage, $799. It's a Kamado Joe one. This is the two and the difference being it's got the airlift hinge, it's got a fancy gasket, it's got a lock on the lid and it's got this control tower. A little bit different than They've improved so much over the big green egg. 
So I'm going to take the rest of that rub and I'm going to put it into a jar and I'll save that for another day. I like that. I'm coming up to temperature. So what we're going to do is this is going to go on probably for about three hours. Um, you can also power cook. I'm at 200, I'm going to be at 250 degrees, but you can also power cook. I can pound this out in, you know, a good three hours with the getting smoke into it and, um, and, and wrapping. So this is coming up. I've got some really good smoke in there right now. And the hottest part on this is sort of to the back left here. So I'm going to go with the bone side down. And I've got a water tray in there with a little bit of water, as I mentioned. So I'm just going to put this in. the lid lock. So I'll sneak up on my 250 degrees and then um, we'll look for the uh, flop stage. So we're going to get color into it and then you pick up one end and it's kind of floppy and you can tell that it just needs to be wrapped. Um, my favorite way of making ribs, as I've already filmed, is a whole side rack and I put them on a rotisserie and I just let it go all day long and uh, no sauce, but this is going to be a saucy rib. This is for the people that like sauce. So I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, here we are three hours later, and I'm still holding rock steady at 250 degrees. I've done nothing, really. Um, I adjusted this like a tiny little bit. That was it. The bottom vent is uh, probably about three quarters of an inch open, and I've got the, the color that I like right now, and Let's have a look at this. Okay, now I mentioned that we're looking for a flop. So when you pick it up, you don't want it to be fall apart. We've got some good smoke into it and we've, we've um, rendered out a lot of the collagen and fat. And you just want like a slight bend. And so I've got that right now. So you can see that it looks kind of dry. I'm going to flip it upside down, meat side down, onto my butcher paper. Now butcher paper, um, this I bought on um, Black Friday, 175 foot roll for $17.99. Some sugar-free barbecue sauce here. It's kind of sweet and spicy and it's the way I like it. The recipe for the sauce is below in the comments. So I'm just going to paint this on. Get it into all the little nooks and crannies. And I'll flip it over. There you go. I got about a half cup of sugar-free sauce on there. And now what I want to do is fold up the, the sides. I want to tent it. I don't really want it resting on the, on the sauce. So I'm going to fold this over very carefully. If you don't have butcher paper, you could use tin foil. That's how we used to do it. And now I want to fold this like that. I don't want any of the liquid to, to escape. So I'm actually going to lift it up on the sides like that a little bit, create like a little bit of a boat, tuck the flaps underneath, and it's just going to go back onto the grill like that. Now, as I mentioned, you could use tin foil, but Get yourself some, some butcher paper. If you were cooking on another type of smoker, like a, a Traeger or a Smoky Mountain or the gas grill or whatever, um, if you want to cheap out on your fuel, like pellets can be pretty expensive, as the Traeger people know, um, what you can do is at this stage, you can just take this and put it into the oven to finish it at 250 degrees. It's, it's, it's not cheating. You've already got your smoke into that. And what we're going to do now is... We've got our smoke in there, and we're going to um, we're going to make it really super tender. There's going to be all kinds of liquid in there on the bottom, and so we're going to go in probably for about an hour and a half to two hours. But what you can do is you can pull it out if you think that it's done. You can feel it when you pick it up. It's going to be all bendy, and so I'm still at 250 degrees. So back on. Oh, it's still smoking. In we go. 
250 degrees. Hour and a half to two hours, somewhere in there. It's also known as the, there's a, a method called the 3-2-1 method. And it's similar to that, but we're going for color. I don't want to go exactly for three hours. I want to make sure that uh, I get the bark that I want and then we're going to go into the wrap stage, which is this, in butcher paper, and then we're going to pull it out the last little bit, and we can either sear it or put a torch on it or underneath the broiler, whatever you like. So I'll see you in about an hour and a half, two hours. My butcher paper back ribs went for an hour and a half, and I thought, okay, that's long enough, and then I just shut all my vents, just shut it down. This thing held rock steady. I'm going to take this off and this is kind of like a handle the way that we folded up this butcher paper so we should be able to pick it up butcher paper back ribs put them on there perfect the way that I folded it and nothing leaks out that's done a good job I shut all my vents down which is really good everything's down Quaker parrots That's a thing of beauty right there. You can jump in and eat those right now, or I can give you another option. And that would be to put some more sauce on the top, like this. These are saucy ribs, right? This is what we taught in the class. Because some people like saucy ribs. I'm a dry rib guy, but... Now, you can take this rib and you can sear it. Sear it on your grill, uh, put it underneath the broiler, I'm not going to sear it on the uh, Kamado or Big Green Egg or Primo or whatever you're using because it's just too much effort to take everything out. I'm just gonna do it on my gas grill. Here's another option, torch, the one trigger start propane torch and you can just hit the top and caramelize it. That's a lazy method of caramelizing the, uh, the sauce just to firm it up a little bit. If you want them fall off the bone, just leave them in the butcher paper. And, um, but I kind of like this bite through. I'm just going to cut down through the center here. That is a nice rib right there. I prefer the, the dry ribs, but there's nothing wrong with a rib like this. Butcher paper back ribs. Thanks for watching.